Hi everyone! This video will be dedicated to unboxing, swatching and my first impressions from this new set of pencils. They are manufactured in Czech Republic by Kohinoor. I love Kohinoor products. I already have a set of watercolor pencils Kohinoor Mundelus and polycolors are regular pencils. I decided that for now I don't need the full set, but I was more interested in smaller sets because apart from the big set of 72 colors, Kohinoor also have these smaller sets dedicated to landscape and also they have set dedicated to portraits and smaller set of 12 for brown and gray colors. In my opinion, it's a great idea. In all my sets, yellow and red colors are less used and colors like greens, browns and blues are always finished first. So this same set is perfect thing for me. I know that Prismacolor created similar sets dedicated to coloring flowers, landscapes, but with Prismacolors I really need the full set. And here, as I don't use these pencils constantly, set of natural greens and blues is perfect thing for me. Everything was packed in a metal tin and pencils are laying on a thin plastic tray. Polycolors look very similar to Mondelus. On Mondelus you can see small brush picture to indicate that they are water soluble. Polycolors and Mondelus have the same colors and the same color codes. They only appear a little bit lighter than Mondelus's if you weight them. I was quite surprised to find that on half of the pencils in this set manufacturer started to print color names because in my previous purchases and on Mondelus's there are no color names, only color codes and it's not a great thing. In my country polycolors are available open stock also. I already purchased some pink colors from portrait set, but they didn't have color names, so it's a recent thing from the manufacturer and it's a great improvement. Polycolors have a core mixed from clay, wax and oil, so they are something between wax and oil between, because manufacturer um, doesn't inform us are they more waxy or more oil based, but from my feelings, from my impressions, they are closer to the oil based pencils. They seem like cheaper version of polychromos. They are slightly softer than polychromos and harder than prismacolors. They definitely don't have a waxy shining like we have from prismacolors. They are something between those two pencils. With the full range of 85 colors, I believe, they could be a quite nice budget alternative and a starter set, especially considering that quality of manufacturing is quite good. I am very happy with quality of the wood and I didn't have any problems with core breakage. They sharpen very nice. For their quality, they have a relatively cheap price, especially if you visit Czech Republic. There are a lot of Kohinoor brand shops, even in the center of the city, so you can purchase them for quite a budget price and to have amazing souvenir from your journey to Czech Republic. And as I said, in many countries they are available open stock. It's quite easy to navigate between colors because uh, color of the whole pencil is the same as the color of the pencil core. So when I have all my 
72 colors of Mondelēz. It's quite easy to find the necessary color, and the same thing goes to polychromos. On my swatches, I indicated color codes, and if I have them, color names. I really hope that Kohinoor will produce all the next sets with color names and that they also will extend the color range. I had a set of Kohinoor Mondelēz watercolor pencils from the beginning of my coloring journey. My first set was Derwent Color Softs and I was quite unhappy with green colors. They were too bright, too unnatural, so I decided to go to the art shop and there I saw Mondelēz pencils. I was in instantly surprised by very natural range of green, brown and blue colors. These natural colors and also high pigmentation and brightness of colors are the reasons why I love my Mondelēz pencils. I preferred to use Mondelēz without adding water, so sometimes due to the properties of the water-soluble water pencil core, Mondelēz didn't provide me with smooth coverage of the paper, so I hoped that with polycolors I won't have these problems and they will have the same bright beautiful colors, but will provide me with better coverage, better layering and I was completely satisfied with my first impressions and my first swatchings. I love a range of blue colors included in this set. 177 is one of my favorite colors. I love to use it for the sky. I quite often used my Mondelēz in the same color in Lizzie Mary Cullen's book for creating sky. Also in this set there are some greenish blue colors for coloring water, so a very very clever set of colors for coloring landscapes. I really love how Mondelēz created this set. Selection of greens is also nice. There is bright green, but I love it. It could be used for fresh uh, spring greens. There are natural green, there are warmer colors like olive green. And as I said, everything is very natural looking. So you can use it for realistic botanical colorings. I wasn't happy how Mondelēz behaved in Leila Dewey books and I hope that with these pencils I will be finally able to use them. I believe that these natural colors will be very helpful. You know that in Leila Dewey books you need a lot of different hues of greens. I forgot to mention that on the pencils we don't have information about light fastness, but I believe that if you go to the manufacturer's site, you can easily find this information there if it's important to you.
Now I decided to compare how polycolor behaves comparing to Mondelooz's. I selected the same colors and you can see that they look almost identical, excluding the brown colors. In my opinion, Mondelooz are great watercolor pencils. They are very nice budget alternative to Albrecht Durer pencils. But I prefer to use them without adding water. And if you use them like regular pencils, they have some small problems. As they are quite soft, they leave a lot of dust on the paper. And also, due to their softness, they also aren't able to cover all white spots from the first layer. So you will need to apply more and more layers. So coverage isn't perfect. The third Mondelooz problem is sometimes in several colors you can get um, some additions to the color, especially in ochre. You can get some brown inclusions in the pencil core. Those problems are gone when you use water, but when you use them dry, they are quite visible. With polycolors I didn't have any of such problems. Polycolors have the same intensity of colors, they are very highly pigmented, but thanks to the harder core, their cover paper better, they leave lesser amount of dust, they layer much better, and pencil cores don't have additional colors, so colors are plain and solid. My first impressions from this set is very positive. I am really happy with this new addition to my pencil stash. I am sure that they will be very helpful in landscape and botanical colorings. And as I said, they are great for their price. So think about going to Czech Republic for your vacation and to get this beautiful set as a souvenir. Also said for coloring portraits is great, so maybe I will purchase it next. I thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next videos.